I guess today we're doing the worst e collar trainer ever, so hang on, I'm going live on Facebook. Hi right, guys, we're back with the worst e-collar trainer ever since I just did the one yesterday of the best e-collar trainer ever. And, you know, what you guys have to understand is there's going to be a worst of everything. If you pick up the phone book and look for plumbers, there's a worst plumber. There's a best plumber. There's a worst plumber. So there's got to be somebody that's the worst. And it's this Sean O'Shea. This guy is awful. Apparently he's online bullying some poor bastard that's noticed, immediately noticed a problem with this training. You know? This can't be a shock. If, if, you know, so he's now trying to call this person out and say, I've got all these videos and bring it on. I said, someone needs to call this guy out, you know, because the guy can't even do a train to retreat. That should be the video. That should be the, that should be the video. The guy's awful. Greg runs around telling everybody this guy was a parking valet and went to a two week course. The upside of this is what you guys have to understand. The people that follow this guy and all that, there is a huge possibility that these people are no talent bums. <laughs> so you're not going to be able to help them anyway. You're not going to be able to help them anyway. That they don't notice. I've never seen anything like it. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never seen dogs go so far out of their way to turn their back on somebody. And maybe I've seen that before, but I've never seen anybody so unaware that every dog is doing everything in its power to jockey around so it can be not looking at you. I've never seen anything like it. And if you said, well, what did Mark say? I'm not going to even insult Mark. Mark doesn't have time to watch something like that. You know, if the day has come that I have to have Mark validate that that's bad training, uh, Mark needs to come and get my Jedi certificate back. But I'm not even going to waste this guy's time. You know, and if you said, well, how does he get all these fans? He constantly markets on Facebook, and there's one reason. When people use the word rehabilitation, that's all people need to hear because that's a good buzzword in today's society. You know what I mean? Because, of course, all these dogs have all these problems, so the solution must be rehab. You know, if I, if I had a friend that was addicted to heroin and there was a rehab, I don't know exactly how it works, but I would say that sounds like what they need, rehab. You know, so once they put the rehabilitation in there, then people like it because they buy into that. It's ridiculous. You know, and for, and if you said, well, what's your main problem with this guy? Uh, first, he's awful. And second, anybody that goes out of their way to tell somebody don't use the pager is a horrible human being. You know, to say don't explore uh, an option that is absent of malice. Absent of malice. Because if you said what in its, you know... What, what would the worst thing you could say about the pager be? That it's absent of malice. So, you know, you if you had, you know, Rottweilers and stuff that wanted to do something, you wouldn't be able to use that to control them. You know, police dogs and all these other ring dogs and all these other things. You're going to have to have a bigger gun. You know, but if you're going at a pet dog with constant, and anybody now you know, Mike and, you know, and I'm anybody, I'm sure you're saying to yourself that use the constant method. How did I let anybody talk me into that? You know, that's what you would have to be saying to yourself, you know, so it's, you know, and if you said, well, what's the e-collar in its worst form? A tool of malice, a tool of malice, you know, that's why people don't like it. You know, and if you say, so, so now you've got these American trainers and because if you said e-collar training wasn't born in America, I'd say, yes, it was. It was born in Arizona, and it was born in California. It was born at a place called Tritronics. That's where it was born. That's where it was born. And it was born in the mind of Jim and Phyllis and Mike Lardy. And if you said, well, what was the difference? Mike Lardy used the nick to get him to do things. Jim and Phyllis used the low-level constant to bend him around. Those are the two schools of thought. So if you said, well, who are all these Sean O'Shea people and all this? God awful, terrible. It's like that uh, movie, Multiplicity. 
where it's been cloned and cloned and cloned and cloned, and it's so far away from the original that it doesn't function properly. That's what it is. So if you said, well, how do they fool all these people? Nobody knows anything. That's how. Nobody knows anything. So this guy's apparently online bullying some poor bastard that's noticed a problem with these dogs, not having any attitude whatsoever after their rehab. You know, I've never seen dogs move less than that. That's the crazy part. Somebody told me, uh, this was like a year ago, something, there was a DVD. This was my reaction. There's a DVD of that? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I said, just show me the recall. That's all I want to see, the recall. I didn't think it was a recall. It was this dog laying with its back turned, and they were pulling it with a pinch collar. It was just awful. So this guy is literally the worst trainer. You know, I, I, I think the only saving grace is, well, I mean, the bad part is, I'm going to tell you what I see. People with rescues and stuff who are desperate see the word rehabilitation and see a dog just sitting there and think, well, if the option is, you know, it's <laughs> staring at the end of the leash or, you know, it's been rehabbed, and this is what rehabbed is. I had this woman in Catalan, I don't know if you're there, from Romania one time, that dog. I'm sure you guys have seen that video. This pit bull comes out of nowhere and bites, takes a big chunk out of this kid's leg. And out of, off the porch comes these people's cat and starts attacking the dog. Well, all these people in Romania wanted this dog sent to a sanctuary. I said, what does a dog have to do before you decide it needs to be dead? And they said, oh, you're being vengeful. I don't even know this dog. I don't even know this dog, but I know enough to know in this God's country of America, we kill dogs that bite children. <laughs> they had those pit bulls, got loose, and, and killed those kids in Atlanta yesterday. The, I guess the other one's doing fine, but this kid is grotesquely disfigured from facial, uh, I'm, I'm guessing face removed, face transplant type of situation. And these are five or six year old kids and you've still got people on the news saying, my pit bull's the sweetest, that's all I could do. Thank God I've got self-control to go on and tell this woman, this isn't about your pit bull. And if your base of knowledge of pit bulls is your one pit bull, you're the problem. Anyway, forget about that. Back to Sean O'Shea, the world's worst trainer. Whoever you are that's being bullied by this guy, please come and see me because what you need to say to this guy, can't even do a train to dream. You know, this guy can't even do, none of them can. You know, Larry, none of them. That's my challenge to all of you. Please start doing this. It's got more practical application. People like it. It's fun. And if not, these freaking trainers are going to be walking along at the end of their career, doing in-home training, making dogs sit. You don't want that. You know, America, if we are the leader in electronic collar training, and we are, and if you said, what do you base that on? I base that on the fact that the biggest force in this country, AKC, and they have a huge investment in, electronic callers more than any other club in the world and there's more money being made in this country with e-callers by virtue of professional retriever trainers than any other country in the world i don't even know how much it would be i'll call around i'll ask mark i'll ask mark how much it costs to put a dog with a serious pro and you better have a serious dog and you better be signing at least a year contract i'm sure you know and if you said europeans are doing that right and freaking left they're taking in dogs two, three, four, five years collar conditioning. And what did I know of? They're hiding these things as fast as they can. They're banning them over there. They're ridiculous. You know, we, we're a democratic country, so that's not going to happen here. But, you know, if we're leading the way by virtue of people like Sean O'Shea, the only saving grace, the downside is rescues are buying into that and using collars wrong to say anybody should pick up a collar and hit constant on a dog is wrong. It's wrong. I haven't done it since 1997. So it's wrong. So he's wrong and he's a terrible trainer. He can't even do a trainer trip. I've never seen dogs turn their back on somebody. Like, Find me a video where a single dog is making eye contact with this guy. They don't use food. Hence, they're not training in drive. So if you said, well, how can you tell a good trainer? They're training in drive. They're training the dog in drive. And if you said, what's right? Some kind of forward motion. You know, some kind of forward motion, not just sitting there with their back to the person. 
That's that Adam Spivey, all those people. They don't even notice. The dogs aren't even looking at them. It's terrible. That Ty Brown, too. I got kicked off the board. So I just, to be mean, I went on there and bullied him on uh, YouTube and said, you don't have a single animated dog. Your recalls are the worst I've ever seen. They're awful. They're awful, and you're all awful, awful people. And your chat board is the worst thing that ever happened. I don't think they really have any influence in Europe. I mean, there are some dumbasses from the UK. Not that everyone from the UK is dumb at all. Because they're going to watch out in the next 10 years. That's There's going to be some really great trainers are going to emerge from there. And these people still here still aren't going to be doing trainer retrieves. If you said give them time, they'll do it. Not with that method, they won't. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what the comparison of that is. That one guy, Dave, that was uh, told on me, that tattled on me, that called the FBI on me for saying his trade retreat video was bad. Six weeks, he had the dog moving six inches on a table to grab something in six weeks. We need to be leading the way. Everybody needs to pick up a copy of Tritronics Retriever Training. If you don't know where we came from, you don't know where you're going. That's the problem. If you said Sean O'Shea has a copy of that in his house, I'd say bullshit. He's never even heard of that book. That's where it was born. These people are all just terrible clones of it. There's no other, there's nothing else. They're just, they're all just making this stuff up and these people are buying it. It's very, very sad. Courtney knows. I'm going to message you later, girl. I've been thinking about you. I hope everything's going good. And you can do it, girl. There isn't, this is what, this is what I want you to say to yourself, Courtney, because this is what I say to my, there isn't anybody else. It's like, you know, they used to say, somebody will do it. There isn't anybody else. It's us, girl. And share if you're there. And for all you guys, I don't want to put you down, but women are going to lead the way with an e-caller because they have a stronger sense of intuition. Uh, there's not such a thing in life as guys faking it, whereas women, oh, no, no, no. you know, so women have a better sense of things, you know, and a better intuition. So you're going to be able to pick up an e-collar and you're going to be able to rule the world. Chair, I want you to start thinking about maybe in the future training service dogs for Canada. Courtney, I want you to open your own school. I'll come work there. I'll be the janitor. I can clean other people's house better than my own. <laughs> I'll sit in the back. No, I'll be a Facebook person. How about that? Because you get too addicted. You're on there all the time. I'll do it. I'll be in the back. I'll do it. Anyway, you guys, that's what I want you to think of. You've got to be innovative. It's up to us. If everybody else in the world, India, all these other countries are 20 years behind us, we better get 10 years ahead real fast to help these people catch up. So that 20 years from now, people aren't still hitting dogs with constant, you know, and being a two-week trainer. That's the other thing that's wrong with this Sean O'Shea and these people. They're selling you a placebo that a dog can be trained in two weeks. Anything more than that is just, uh-oh, I'm seeing Courtney saying, ugh, she's thinking of me. I, uh, yeah, no, maybe you need your vacation, Courtney. We don't even train the dogs. Oh, here's what we'll do, Courtney, when you come for your internship. Bring, bring like five different outfits. We'll shoot all the videos in one day. And then we'll just upload them, but then just go to Disney and stuff. Not even really train the dogs every single day. <laughs> That's my new plan. Just change outfits, make it see, and then just upload different videos every day. But just like they do TV shows, they shoot all of them in one day. Anyway, guys, I'm getting ready to go out here and train some dogs. I want all of you to start. Any dog you can get your hands on. Start doing the train to retrieve thing. And I've started doing it now just by picking up the bottle. And I think there are some dogs. I mean, I think if, you know, if they really needed to do it, you'd have to go back to the paper towel roll step by step thing. But, you know, depending on the dog. But the picking up the bottle thing seems to be pretty easy. And that's what we need. You don't need, we can't, we, nobody has time for this labor intensive training. When people say, well, I like the old fashioned, there's no good old days in the days of dog training. You know, and the fact that more people are not, you know, willing to pick up tech and think of it outside the box. It's frightening. Who are these people? I don't want to know these people. 
you know, if you're an artist, they don't paint the same freaking painting every day. They look for new mediums. They look for, you know, they don't stand around saying we're going to do it the same, the same, the same, the same, the same. If you said you're doing it the same you, you were as a year ago, not according to these memories of mine on Facebook that I don't even remember. I didn't even, even have a platform. So that's how much I've changed in a year. I hope they've got, I hope you've got platforms there at work, Courtney. Anyway, I'm going to go, you guys, I'm going to go out there. Uh, I'm going to message you. Uh, oh, Courtney's coming to see me. Courtney's a serious pro trainer and you guys have got to be able to spot a serious pro and you've got to make friends with these people. You can't sit there and suck up to the Sean O'Shea's of the world because you think they're some social media star. How? Based on what? This is what you need to say to yourself. This is my stock line. The guy can't even do a trade retreat. <laughs> Courtney knows. You know, and everybody needs to learn how to do that. And if you said, why? Because it makes you better than the people that don't know how to do it. And that's what you need to do. That's what you need to strive to be better. I would hope that anybody that I inspired outgrew me, that I could say to them, you have outgrown me. I must send you on to the next step in your journey while I stay here and live my simple life. You know, if I was a bridge to help somebody be motivated to be better, every time I make a video like this, somebody comes out of the woodwork and tells me I am. It doesn't always work out, but you know, that's what you have to think of. That would be my goal for anybody I inspired that they outgrew me. And I could say, you've outgrown me. So I'm going to send you to this person so you can even grow more. So one day I can say, look, I knew them back in the day. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'm going out there right now to just, who knows, makeup, God knows what, stuff I made up. Anyway, see you guys. Bye.